Welcome to a special edition of the Charger Bulletin. I'm Kiana Quinones. After the death of journalist Jamal Khashoggi in the Saudi consulate in Istanbul, Turkey, there has been a controversy surrounding the University of New Haven and its relationship with the King Fahd Security College in Saudi Arabia. According to Newsweek, Salah Mohammed al Tabegi, who was a board member at the Security College, was involved in the dismemberment of the Saudi journalist. University officials report that al Tabegi was not affiliated with the Security College. We sat down with President Stephen Kaplan to talk about the future of the university and its relationship with the college once the investigation ends. What I do hope is once the investigation has been ended and the consequences have been drawn from that, that we as a university continue to do the kind of work we're doing at King Fahd Security College and, as I said, around the globe, helping students both here and abroad improve their law enforcement skills. And by skills, that also means by cultivating their humanity that we make them better law enforcement officers, not just technically and professionally, but in terms of cultivating their humanity. And I think we do a very good job of that. And I think the more of that we can do around the world to enhance the sense that law enforcement goes beyond enforcing the law, but enforcing our relationship to one another and making sure that as a global society, we are focused on improving what we do for one another and how we treat one another. And I think this university is going to be a continued success. I think we've prevented numerous crimes as an institution, prevented numerous tragedies, solved incredibly complex crimes, and continue to do that. We've helped tens if not hundreds of thousands of victims. And as we go forward, I hope we can continue to do that, among the many other things we do, well, in engineering and business and the sciences and so on. But in terms of what we're doing with King Fahd and what we do here and do so well, I hope we can continue to have that kind of an impact. As you mentioned before, there hasn't been much communication with the King Fahd Security College outside of regular communication. Um, and there also hasn't been any with students at the university outside of the media weighing in. Moving forward, how do you plan on keeping students informed? If there are any developments that I think students should know about, then absolutely. Of course, I did an interview with the Charger Bulletin. I answered quite a few of your questions. I know that gets out to students. If there's a need for more information, if there's a need uh, to explain to students in, in more detail what we're doing at King Fahd, I'd be happy to do that. But we have many, many programs on this campus uh, that we could update students on, but my sense is that we do that very well on, on a periodic basis, both through the interviews I provide, uh, through the interviews that others provide for the Charger Bulletin, and frankly, through all of the communications we have with the national and global media. For all of us, as I said, there's much to be learned here, and how far we need to develop our own humanity globally. The university has had a relationship with the King Fahd Security College for over seven years and is involved in a five-year agreement to help students at the college obtain a bachelor's in criminal justice. Despite requests from human rights organizations, President Kaplan reports that there has been no change to the current communication or relationship with the King Fahd Security College. As always, visit thechargerbulletin.com for updates as this story develops. I'm Kiana Quinones, and thank you for joining me.